how are you doing welcome back to another video so uh it's sunday it's around 3 30 we had lunch we took a drive then now we are back home so i was just chilling in the bed for like 30 minutes and then i can start getting ready i have a date with my mom and my sister uh at around 5 p.m so i've really taken down my week guys so I don't know what I'll be doing with this hair. I haven't yet decided whether I'll be doing braids or what. So that's, I will decide. So anyway, let me just relax and then I will start getting ready at, at 4. And then I will leave at 4.30. Welcome to the vlog. I hope you enjoy. I've been burning this candle. This candle, it's called mahogany thick wood. This candle smells so amazing. I usually put it uh, on this coaster and open all the doors, like the bedroom, the two bedrooms, and the kitchen and the living room, and the scent goes all the way around the house. So this is a pretty nice candle. It's a nice investment. I'm so happy I sent my friend to get it for me. But let me just turn it off and start getting ready to bounce what am i wearing i think just something very simple so guys i'm done i now want to put on some gloss you know this wig isn't lying flat because i haven't done lines i have no choice i have to go uh, as i am put on a very simple outfit this t-shirt uh, it's a black t-shirt. These um, tights, pretty uh, little thing, black. Then this long sweater. Then my bag of the day will be this one, simple bag. Then my shoes will be these ones. I've never opened these shoes since I bought them, these batangonas. So this is what I want to wear today. Let's go, let's bounce. So guys, I've not put on a necklace because there's an incident that happened the other day that really scared me. So guys, I realized the sound wasn't so clear. So let me just do a voiceover for this part. So the incident that scared me, guys, was uh, uh, last week when we were working with my partner in the CBD, someone tried to steal my necklace uh, from my neck. This incident was so scary, but let me just tell you how it happened. So we are walking, we are walking, we are, all of us are trying to find our way uh, in the CBD. All of you know, guys, how CBD can be so packed, can be so full. If you're not from Nairobi, CBD is very, very, very packed, full of people. So in order for you to find your way or to just make way, you have to like, you know, it's like, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to explain it, but it's so busy. So I was walking ahead and my partner was behind me so he could see me and uh, whenever I needed to see him, I would turn back. So he was like two steps or three steps behind me. And of course, with the number of people that, that are in the CBD, sometimes he will, uh, we would lose each other, but I could still be able to see him. So this individual had followed me for some time. He was after my necklace, guys. And uh, I, I initially saw a hand, for, uh, a hand trying to reach uh, my neck and I assumed it was my partner's. So I did not pay any attention to that. So this individual pounced on the necklace, guys, and was able. Actually, had it not been that my partner saw him, he would have taken the necklace. So my partner held him by the arm to check if he had stolen anything from me. And then he looked at me to see if I, if I had everything on me, my phone, everything included. I told him I'm fine. It's just that this guy was trying to steal my necklace. So all this time, my partner is holding this guy's arm and this guy is trying to like escape. So when my partner realized I had everything, he released him. And the people around were like, why did you release him? Why did you release him? You should have held him so that we beat him. So we walked. After like uh, 10 seconds, or I, I don't know, if it's one minute, I was not comfortable. I told my partner, remove the necklace, remove the necklace. I'm no longer comfortable. I'm no longer comfortable walking with this necklace in the CBD. So since then, guys, I've not been able to wear the necklace. I've been wearing the earrings, my rings and whatnot. But this specific necklace has just been like a traumatic experience for me. I can't imagine wearing this necklace. Even now that I'm going to meet my mom and my sister in a very safe environment, I was still not able, guys, to wear... Um, this necklace so 
that is what happened uh, at this point. I think that is what I was telling you and the sound wasn't so clear. So, uh, yeah, guys. morning guys how are you doing so let's do a quick monday morning haul before i go to the office or to work so the first thing that i got from um naivas yesterday we were uh, at a date with my mom and my sister so we did go to naivas for some shopping the first thing that i got is this uh big mega lighter i've been lighting my candles with um the match and sometimes it can really burn uh, your finger like the other time I tried lighting a candle with a match match stick and it burnt like uh, the tip of my nail so that's why I opted to get this the next item that I got I got a new uh, pedal bin uh, yes it's just black in color I figured I needed another one uh, in my bedroom the other bedroom that I use for dressing up and be doing makeup or whatever and I need somewhere to throw uh, in some stuff the other uh, item that i got are these togo container these were actually gifted to me so they are three inside two inside and this bigger one um outside so yes this i got yesterday on that uh, small whatever excursion then i also got this uh pineapple hi guys i know i am at the wrong angle but there's no other way i would have shown you uh this hair i'm just back from the salon it's night it's night now and there was no other way for me to show you the hair so the hair is the ponytail by darling the one that has like curls at the end so i just got some braids done very short very light um i think it looks really nice this hair is so light guys I'm going to enjoy this hair guys so my forehead is really foreheading but who cares who cares short girls with big foreheads are the prettiest um, so you can hold it up you can have it down what I like about it is the length it's pretty short so this is how it is so it's not so long it's not so bulky but it looks so good let me have a turn around that's the back that's the side and that's the front so I had to show you this uh, at night, guys, because I'm now back. But I have to do so many other things, so we will talk tomorrow. So guys, I had to show you as well uh, how it looks without being uh, tied up. So this is the way it looks. This is how light it is. Uh, this is how bouncy the curls are. Maintaining these curls is not easy, but there are solutions for this. I use the ORS uh, olive oil, uh, which keeps the curls like intact it also helps them not to be so runny so this is how it looks when it's not uh held up i think it looks so pretty i love the curls i love the curls they are so nice i love the curls this is the back so yes guys i'm going to really really enjoy 
uh, this hair for real for real you can hold it up you can leave some down like that there's so many ways to style this hair guys so yeah what i love about it is the curls yeah that's how it looks so many ways so many ways to style this guys so so many ways so many so that there's no time there's no time there is no time tina get to other things get to other chores you ruin me for everybody oh. having breakfast if you're new here my name is tina kohana you just seen us having breakfast and then when i was done i decided to sort some of the boxes that were in my pantry so i got those new uh, plastic boxes and that's what i've done i've just put all the most important uh, like documents and whatnots into those plastic containers and now i'm getting some uh what some for the toilet some for shaving some batteries for our uh remotes just to replace those and to replenish like the uh, toilets i will also need some tissues so that is what i will get and restock some of those places so i'm still working on this pantry i haven't given up on it i will do it in due time but for now it will remain as is guys
Waiting around for you to call back. Pacing around my room and my dad. Crazy, crazy. I want you to know what you have against me. The city is not the place for us to be. Cause I'm trying to figure out why you hate me. Was it something I did? Yeah, I don't need to fix.